Hello everybody, welcome back, Jordan here. Today we have the pleasure of taking a look at this custom LIGO modular building, which is a museum, and it was actually built by my buddy, the Brick Marshall. This thing is awesome, and has a fully detailed interior. We're gonna start by taking a look at the front of the building here, the roof in particular, has some great details. That was built using some cheese wedges, some of the ingot bricks, also some masonry bricks running down either side. You also see a little custom sticker element there that says 1922. We've got some nicely framed windows here. You can see the grids running down either side. A little vent pieces in white. Dark red masonry bricks. The museum sign here. Got some nice textures using some cheese wedges, ingots, a couple different colors of tan or shades of tan. Get the lights there and then a couple of tapestries in that sort of light vibrant blue color running down the side here a few more windows another sign right above the door there attached to the awning which has some lights beneath and that's our front entrance on the left side of the entrance we have a lion knight and on the right side of the entrance, we have a wolf knight. On the side of the building here, you can see we've added some texture, well, the brick marshal has, by attaching some of the dark tan two by two tiles and some more ingots below that window there. And kept that consistent roof detailing on the sides here. You got some trees on this side of the roof and matching on this side as well. Get some windows on the side there, and as you peer into those windows, you're gonna see a lot of minifigures and lots of different things that you would find in a museum packed inside. This thing has an amazing interior detail, and it is awesome. You actually see that it is on a Mills plate, so it's designed for a Mills city. That's why you see these colorful bricks on the base of it. As we come around the back here, you'll see that it's multiple levels, so this will actually come apart, of course, to reveal those interior details. Pretty basic uh, backside. It's uh, just sort of tan and then uh, reddish brown on the bottom. We've got our back door here. The beauty of this thing lies in the inside. I also really like the front facade. You did a great job of creating a very detailed front facade. And on the top here, there's actually a skylight as well. It has some curved transparent panels. And inside there you'll see the Women of NASA exhibit. So lots of great detail. Let's crack this thing open and have a peek inside. So like all LEGO Creator Expert modular buildings, the roof will just pop off. You can see the skylight there. And we're gonna start by taking a look at the top floor and then work our way down. Here you can see the satellite from the Women of NASA set. Also two minifigures. Lots of sticker elements in this custom modular building that have been extracted from sets throughout the ages. It's got a sand green floor here and a gold railing topped with some black tile. And you'll actually be able to peer right down through the museum. You'll see that the interior has an open concept, which is brilliant. we have got another sticker element on this side here. There's so much detail and minifigures found in this thing. It is incredible. It does a great job of showcasing a lot of different Lego themes starting with space on the top floor. So as we take the building apart, you'll see that there's two big openings on the side of the window panels there. That's because our front facade actually stays intact. So the facade was built essentially as one solid piece, but this is a very detailed floor. Starting on the right side here, you can see that we have an Imperial Guard. And what's actually interesting is these little custom sticker elements right here which showcase plaques, like specifications plaques, sort of showing what you're looking at as you go through the museum. And each exhibit will have that. Next to that we have Pirates, and then Ninjago. Right here there's a custom sticker element that has a painting, and it's of a lady there with a pearl earring. Got a little trophy figure underneath that, including a jewel. Here we have the forest men. You can see a shield there. 
in right there. Then we have the Temple Idol. Also a Basil, the Bat Lord's Cape right here. A Lion Knight coming up here. There's some more stickery elements right in here. And right in there we have the Royal Knight with the Royal Knight Shield. And then finally in this corner we have the Falcon Knight. Once again, consistent with that sand green tiled floor. And check out what's hanging right there. This is sort of like the upper mezzanine floor. It's the Roman chariot suspended from the ceiling. And you can actually see that as you look in this window right here. So that is a pretty sweet concept. I like how it has the open floor concept so that you can actually look down into the next floor. And he's actually suspended that chariot. Lots of hidden gems and relics found in this museum, especially in this floor here. All the different knights, forest men, imperial guards, Ninjago, pirates, and much more. Pretty awesome. Here we have the roof, second floor, and top floor. And now we're going to check out the base floor. And there is a lot of awesome stuff crammed into here. Once again, we got that sand green floor tiles and also the arches here, which had a nice touch. Then we have the CMF mummy right here. Then the dragon katana right here mounted on the wall between the sticker piece there. We have the Atlantis keys. And then there's a mummy right here. This is the adventurer's sarcophagus. And then the headdress and hieroglyphs right here. I like this headdress here on this side. It's a sweet element. Once again, we have all of those specification plaques underneath. The hieroglyphs are just in front of the front desk there that you can see when you peer in to the front entrance. You can see there's some stuff on that desk there. So you've got some mini trophy figs, also a cash register. Nice curved style front desk. And on this side over here, we've got some pirates and imperial flags. Also a helmet, knight, chrome sword, and finally the CMF Viking right over here. So there's just so many different minifigures and minifig accessories that are crammed in here from such a broad spectrum of sets. I like these Egyptian ones, they're pretty sweet. Marshall has access to all of these amazing parts from his part inventory, and it's incredible how he's just put them all in here to create an amazing museum. It's truly awesome. I like the Egyptian stuff right here. Some nice sticker elements. And also this tomb right here is pretty sweet. That's the uh, Adventurer's Sarcophagus. But lots of great stuff and detail found in the base floor, top floor, and also second floor. I love the way that chariot hangs sort of in the center, goes right down, and you can actually look through from the top floor all the way down. Actually, from the roof because of the uh, skylight. Yeah, you can sort of just peer right through or just peek in through the windows that run down the center of the building. It's a pretty special modular building that is very high quality, very detailed, has so many great pieces from all different Lego themes. This could be a Lego set. Give it to you straight. This thing is amazing. I'd love to put this in my Lego city. But this is actually uh, the Brick Marshalls. He just lent it to us. Goes into his mill style Lego city. Did a great job. Let me know what you guys think by commenting below. I think the detail just the details are just unprecedented, and I really like the set. It's fantastic. Not a set. I really like this mock. It's fantastic. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned. Thanks for popping by. Have a great day.